Well, Ham fam, welcome back to our channel. I'm Debbie. I'm Darren. And it's Vlogmas Day, Day six. six. Wow, 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 wow. Already? Wow. God, bloody hell. Also, good morning, Draco. Oh. Hey, yo, crack fans. It's me, Draco. I'll tell my father about this. <laughs> are you telling daddy, are you? Are you telling daddy? <laughs> Technically, you're a hamster, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right guys so let's crack on yeah. um in case <laughs> the switchlet fans out there she's been a moo cow today <laughs> she has been put on she's in a, a time out she's been a diva <laughs> she, you've, you've sought her with attention and she they're like children they have days where they're a little bit on the naughty side and she is an absolute pain in the Right, it's day six, which means 19, 19 days, days to, to go. go. Wait, I need you, my little barrier. Mm. What are you doing, my little burrower? Mm. Right, so let's see what's in here. Now, don't expect miracles, guys, because we know from past experience he doesn't really he eat doesn't. things outside of the thing. No. Apart from a little bit of chicken, which he will eat. But yeah. there you go. He might, he might right. have a little dance for gramophone. Right, so we've got beetroot baubles and parsley baubles and they've got their little hearts as well. They're cheese and cranberry hearts, which are usually <laughs> quite a winner. <laughs> I can see your butt. <laughs> right, uh, so I've just rescued him from walking off the side. Uh, Do not commit suicide. No. You are not alone. You are loved. <laughs> oh, goodness <laughs> right so I've got you you being an absolute devil for what's it so I'm just going to try him with one of these because you never know yeah. it could be a miracle biscuit cranberry and cheese no yeah you're really not bothered with no. food are you no. he eats it when he's in his cage he's fine but he's just mm. not food orientated no. right guys so let's go and get that gramophone before yeah. He wanders off. I'll put this on back. He's doodling. Yep, yeah, right. Today's is let us be happy and cheerful. Right. Again. I've heard of this one. <laughs> Not that we know of. No. <laughs> Actually, I like that one. I've it's, not heard it. It, it, it reminds me of something. Isn't it? it reminds me of something. Da, 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 da. Uh, something I know, dance. I can't kiss you because she's got lipstick on and you'd have purpley glittery nose. Dance. The folk ones, all sort of bit. It was. Oh, I, I think it was released in like not seventies or eighties, or bit. But it was. It was a. Yeah, it was like a folky sort of. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Can't remember. Lost in the mist of my mind somewhere. No. <coughs> don't know. No. Right, so we'll get this little dude in his ball so he can have a run. In realism, what he'll do is he'll go and sit over by the door and Doing chat to other hamsters, doze off a bit and then wander <laughs> around. But yeah, he's um they like their routine of bits if they can. But yeah, as I said, Suki has been a moo cow. Oh, this morning she was so much hard work. Mm. But yeah, so she's in a timeout and she knows she's been naughty because she knows mm. the word naughty. Mm. Um, she knows she's been naughty because she's been very, very quiet. Mm. But we should have known because well, she, she normal, was chucking well, she stuff, around, chuck her stuff cage around her cage. This cage morning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But we'll say bye bye to the Draco. Bye bye, guys. Oh, Such you cute. gave them a snog. Right. Right. Next, we have got the Technique Nail Case Advent Calendar. Hey. 
again hoping to get this done today right i'm doing the nails underneath nails. it's number six number there six is. it's an interesting shape yeah it doesn't look like a nail varnish one doesn't does it It is. it is a nail varnish one. How about that? Oh, oh, fabulous! Oh, white. You wanted a white. Didn't I you? wanted a white to go with the blue. Oh, wicked! That is really well timed. Hmm. So it seems to me it's like these two go together, hmm. and these two are go together. So I'm wondering if that's how they're doing it, as it were. Don't know. No, I don't either. And I don't know how many what's it still take. Right. we'll, go we'll find it. out right guys so i put on three coats but noticed the top bit was a little bit gappy so rather than waiting which would have been sensible that's why that's a bit gappy so i did actually overdo what i was doing if you see what <laughs> i mean but it was well intended either way it doesn't matter it's a really nice color and three coats does do it um it sort of does it, but it doesn't, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd say with the with the, the the brown and the white, I'd say both of them probably need four coats. Mm. But don't do what I did, which is try and do it in a rush and get myself in a mess. Yeah. So that's the only reason that's not as smooth as it was, because it mm. was, and then I messed it up. So that's not down to the nail varnish. Right. Mm. White always reminds me of the girl, girls at school who used to use um, Tipex. Do not or, do that. In, in America, it would be it's, uh, correction fluid or whiteout fluid. That's right, yeah. 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 Paper, uh, liquid paper. Liquid paper. That's yeah. another one. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, girls used to do it. You couldn't paint, they couldn't paint their nails at school then, so you used, right. used to use Tipex to paint them. I mean, I've got to say, <laughs> it is pretty good. And they do go together. Mm. Um, I might have to zhuzh something because uh, yeah. I do. I do like a bit of glitter to my my Christmas nails. Mm. I also have some rather exciting Christmas stickers mm. for my nails. Mm. So yes, mm. I'm waiting to do those because obviously I need to decide what yeah. colour I'm using. Yeah, I was just going to show your details, but your details flipped round. Oh. Keep doing that. that because. They match the dittos. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Right. So, so, let's have a brew. Yep. That was right. Yep. Let's have a look and see what we got. Ooh, Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Elimbari. Elimbari. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Elimbari looks all right. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? And it's three and a half strength. Mm. We've been liking the stronger ones, strangely enough. Which is strange because, you know. Yeah. Right, so let's have a nip and a look. Mm. A look and a nip. Mm. Right. Ooh, that is very dark brown coffee granules. Mm. I'll show you. I'm really loving the smell of that. Yeah. Mm. No, fruity's come into it. Why do you get that? It's like your initial smell, you can smell really nice coffee. And then if there's but no, but a major no, fruity. Lady, Lady Law said in one where well, she thought we'd like Columbia one more because it's less fruity. She used to do um, uh, roasting coffee beans. Years ago. Are there any others you would recommend, Lady Dog? Because, um, mm. as I say, you can tell we're not we're not awfully keen on the ones that taste quite fruity. Mm. I like the ones that taste like coffee mm. as opposed to fruit. I didn't know this was a thing, to be honest with you. No. But yeah, no. Any any recommendations? Not just from Lady Law. Any of you, if there's any recommendations, it's always yeah. gratefully received. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. loving it. All right. right. So. We're going to brew some, Let's get brewing. Brew some coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, guys. So, the brew is brewing. Right. So, today's lipstick. Mm -hmm. And lip liner. 
<laughs> is L'Oreal and it's Map to Nirvana. <laughs> and then you've got Body Collection Lip Liner. It looks red. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's sort of like a reddy, purpley, maroony sort of colour lip Colour. liner. It works anyway. Yeah. Point with the lippy. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> I've got that ready in there to tell you the huge snowflake question today. Huge from snowflake Debbie. question for Debbie. Mm -hmm. Debbie's huge snowflake. It is. Don't be personal. Mm -hmm. Right, so today's category is Christmas toys. Yeah. Uh, right, the first two are worth one snowflake each for you mm. to answer. Um, full details about what this is about is on See, Blog Must Day Previous one, one. Yep. and I sort of touched on it. In the description as well, below. Oh, right, fair mm. dues, mm. even better. Right, so Christmas toys. What is the name of the little animal families and their houses that first became a huge hit in 1987? 1987? 1987. 1987. I, I actually yeah. thought they came out a little earlier than that. Yeah. Uh, they're still, they were still I would have thought, thought they were quite a bit earlier still, than that. I started so, secondary school in 1986. <laughs> I mean... I can't say without saying, but no. yeah, um, I will tell you when we give the answers of what I had, because I only had one thing from that, because mm. I didn't really know about it particularly. Right, I've still got it actually, if it's still <laughs> in the outhouse. Mm. Right, in nine, oh no, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Right, the Smurfs. Yay! Hmm? First aired in 1981. But what colour are they? Mm. No, really, I thought, it was, I thought it was about 79. Yeah, I know, I thought that was a bit earlier as well. Because you had Father Abraham and the Smurfs. Yeah. Didn't you? So, the Smurfs first aired in 1981, but what colour are they? Hmm. And the first question again was, what is the name of the little animal families and their houses that first became a huge hit in 1987 because I mm. forgot to repeat myself. I uh -huh. am trying. Mm. Right, so these next two questions are worth two snowflakes each. Mm. So, in 1988 what would you hope to catch with your proton pack? <laughs> in 1988 what would you hope to catch with your proton pack? Ooh. Right. I knew the toy one would be fun. <laughs> the difficult bit with the toy one was picking the right, picking <laughs> two from each category bit. Um, right. What patch kid was popular in 1983? What patch kid <laughs> was popular? In 1983. They were. Now, I Parents will went say nuts. That, in yeah, America especially. Yeah. No, people, people went nuts. I, I had one. I did have one. Hmm. Um, I've never seen my one again though. It was no. bald. There you go. But yes. It burnt down in the shed. When my brother attached a Catherine wheel to the shed too harshly and the shed caught fire. A lot of my childhood memories went up in those. My childhood memories went up in flames. <laughs> Same. Right. This is for three snowflakes each. So... Which Transformer was the must-have toy... Christmas 1985. Mm. Which Transformer was the must have toy for Christmas 1985? Now, I will say, okay, you're getting quite a few in the 80s, but that's when me and Darren were children, mm. so you know, mm. we have an affinity for mm. them. I had it as well. Yes. I still got it, in fact. Right. <laughs> Question number four In what year 
was the Furby launched? So, in what year was the Furby launched? I don't actually know that. We're gonna have you've to, got a few, haven't you? We're gonna have to do some sort of bit with our eighties toy. We keep saying about it. We keep promising you. We're digging them out, aren't we? I've got <laughs> yeah. This is it. I've got I've got about four Furbies, I think, and one of them's Gizmo Furby, and he is mm. gorgeous. But yeah, my mum bought me one. But I was older, I will give you that, I was older for that, but I really wanted one. Mm. Right, so they're the snowflake questions from the Christmas book. Yay! So, you want to know, what's this? Debbie's moose is snowflake. Snowflake? It's snowflake. <laughs> right, now then, because I'm asking you, it's sort of like a few questions in one, mm. this if you answer all three parts, mm. even if it's with we don't, mm -hmm. I want to know what is your favourite or go-to starter dinner and pudding on Christmas Day? And it is worth a whopping 20 snowflakes, guys. Oh. Um, essentially, I could have done them separately, but then you'd have only got 15 altogether because it would have been favourite starter, favourite dinner, yeah. favourite pudding. So, but no, I thought, do you know what? Because I'm asking it all in one question, we'll go mm. for 20 points. So I want to know what your favourite or go-to starter is, mm. what your favourite or go-to Christmas dinner is. Mm. Do you have 15 different types of vegetables mm. and eight types of Another. meat or something? Yeah. What's your favourite side dish as well? Yeah. Put that in. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Your side dish should give you an extra five points. So now we're offering you 25 points. <laughs> 25 snowflakes, sorry. Hmm. Um, yeah, so starter, dinner, pudding, side dish. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we want to know for this one. Yeah. It's no, no, but the snowflakes are each, each snowflake gives you one entry into the drawer. Yeah. More snowflakes you have, More snowflakes the better you chance you the have. The better odds you have. If you're not quite sure how it works, look at Hunger Games. Mm. May the odds be ever in your favour. Mm-hmm. Mm. Debbie done say that because she said it last year. I didn't say it because I forgot. Ah. Oh. Ah. May the odds be ever in your favour. Mm. I just love that one. Mm. I love those films. Mm. I haven't seen the new one yet. Right. right. So, Papua New Guinea, Ilambari. So the question is, has it brewed? Oh, it's brewed. It's brewed. Oh, it's another one that didn't want to come off. Right, so I'm not going to try and sniff it from the nozzle because that always goes badly wrong. Yeah, it's going to go bad here. Yeah. Oh, crikey, this is dark. Huh. I've splished on my... On my map mm, thing. Yeah. Don't look any darker. I like. I'm a lot more generous with Darren's, but then he has milk and things as well. So, am I, or is it just you know? Right, let's give Darren's a nipple. Yep, yeah, definitely smells like coffee. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Oh, it smells quite, smells quite strong a little bit. I can really smell the fruitiness in this. I'm beginning to feel like, mm. you know, wines are quite yeah. similar to... Not no, a nice don't like one. that one. It's quite bitter, that one is. Oh, no. no. We'll try another slurp. Really? I'm yeah. not going to. Wish me luck. Good luck. I love you. <laughs> Be safe. I need a spish bash. That's, that's really bitter, that is. So, Papua New Guinea for us, guys, is a thumbs down. Mm. A very, very big thumbs down. I mean, that mm. I didn't even want to take a second sip of. No, I'm that's right. really amazed Darren did. Mm. But look, I made a splosh with it as well. Yep. 
Splosh. We shall clean the splosh and be back with the rest. Yay! Right. What's next, Darren? Next is... <gasps> How can I forget that? It's the... It's the Witchy Secrets Sniffy Calendar. Now, so far, we have loved the first day's one, but it didn't scent the flat. Yep. Um, in fact, I didn't actually smell it at all. Um, yesterday's one was heavenly, and it scented the flat, but not majorly. Oh, we did? It, you could smell it right up by the kitchen, yeah. It scented all round, but yeah. it wasn't in your face. No, rough. yeah. Um, but yeah, the honeysuckle one so far is our favourite. Right. Right, so I'm looking for number six. You are looking for number six. There it is, look. Yeah. I'll be very impressed if you can get this. Right, that's pretty. Oh, it's quite soapy smelling, actually. Is it some sort of snow thing? It is some sort of snow thing, yes. Go on, then. What is it? Snow kissed coven or snow kissed lodge fragrance. Yeah, I'd go with that. There's a there's a hint of pine in there. But yeah, it does smell quite soapy and sort of mm. like a soapy pine bit, really. I'm not sure that I like it. I just... Mm, that's, that's, it's quite pleasant. It's just not yeah, that's, that's quite nice. a favourite favourite, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it's the Snowflake Coven. I didn't do bad, did oh, I? No. I'm the old guessing, really. Mm. Right. So it's still got like a fruity sort of back to back sort of bit to it. All I can smell is the but, but you can smell the, the pine. The soapiness but it's like and a, the pine, but yeah, it's but there's something at the back you can sort of. No, I'm not getting that. Yeah. No. <laughs> right. As bad as my dad. <laughs> oh, upside down again. Upside. Down. Boy, turn me <laughs> down. No, no, no more. Because we do not want to. What? Endorse a, mind you, how anybody can call us singing anything. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. We have got Build a Potter. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Are you ready to Let's play? Let's move you back a little. Go. And I've got my decent coffee. What am I doing? I'm opening number five Here's again. Number six. There's numbers. Number five won't take you long to do because you've already done it. <laughs> this is true. Oh, it's one with instructions. Oh, well, it's. Oh, it's a big, it's a big bag. One, two. Right. So, oh. Darren had to look it up and see what it was. It says fireworks shop, but I would have said it was just fireworks display. Well, yeah. Look at how many spares. Now, <laughs> that's got to be the record number of spares right there, you know. Perhaps it's because they blow up and I can go <laughs> Possibly, I suppose. But I do like them. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's quite cool. Um, I think it's quite nice, actually. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right. So, woo! Toy brands. Toy mini brands. Mini toys. Yay. Right, so we are all oh, look with those number six. Six, six, six. Okay. Oh, oh. I have managed to break your nail. Yeah, look at that, honestly. I told you I'd put too much in. Right. <laughs> it's alright, they're getting removed later. No. Um that is so cute. I've got absolutely no idea. RC Mini Mip. RC with remote control. Yeah. It is super cute, actually. <coughs> so, there you go, Darren. <laughs> Never heard of it. No, it looks like some sort of robot thing. Yeah, it does. It looks like it goes forward and turn around. It doesn't look, it does exactly a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you get different ones. It looks like they've got dinosaurs and all sorts. 
Yeah, they've got all different ones. <laughs> so they they're pretty cute. I like that. It's a yeah. nice touch. It's well put together as well. There's no yeah. like some of them can be a bit. Yeah, so it's the box feeling, fits all in there, but it's it's really it's nice. The press across the front. Yeah. Whoops. Whoops. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Oh, right. right, well Harry's sat there with Ron on his lap, but we just need to concentrate on Harry right now. Do we need yeah. you today, Harry? I know. You just chill there, mate, and we'll, you know. Day six, chilling, a little bit of healing. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, Matt. Well. There's number six, here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I mean, I really have no idea what number this is. Are you in the right one? Yeah. Alright. Six. Yeah. Oh. Oh, because oh, it goes down the bottom then. That's why there's no number on that bit. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> that looks very tight in that hole. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. But that go on my tray. It is the fat lady. It is the fat lady, and I'm going to get Darren to put that on the tree because you yeah. know that is that is fabulous. I love her. I liked the original yeah, as that. well. Yeah, she passed away, didn't she? Yeah, she did. That's why. That's why they had to change her. But she was fabulous. Mm. Right, so <coughs> didn't need you, mate. You're all right. You can stay chilling. <coughs> right, underneath every week. Lovely. Yep. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Right. Mm. So. Yeah. I mean, we may have to whip her off when we put all the diorama bit together and so on, but mm. you know, you never know. <coughs> yep. Right, and let's get some more poxies. Get some more offense. Mm -hmm. Update on the bit. Can't say I can smell it. I can't say. <laughs> and I'm right next to it. So, right. I forgot to move the Nivea one. <laughs> Here we go. Right. right. Nivea for women. Nivea. And door six. So far, actually, I'm really liking the Nivea yeah. one. Yeah. Right. Nice little Pop. bookmark one. Ooh, big product. Ooh. Right. So, bookmark might come in handy again. So you keep hold of that. Yeah. And got Pure Core Shower Cream Soft All Almond. So, yeah, it's a shower cream one. Let's have a, a wee look. Uh. That's a nice travel size one if I ever went anywhere. Nivea Cream Soft Shower. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely and clean smelling. But it's for a Nivea. And it does smell, it does smell like a cream as it were. Mm. But yeah, that sniffs nice. It sniffs nice, does it? It does. Does it sniff nice? Or is a big lid on the board? I've got the lid here. Mm, it smells of Nivea, actually. Mm. Yes, I know, but mm. it's dove I find smells like glue to me. I've got no yeah. idea why. No. Um, it may not still be the case because she sends it. So it's very popular, change, isn't it? So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I might get your mum to bring up a dove one so I can nip it. <laughs> mum doesn't smell like glue. No. And she uses Nivea. All dove. right. Dove. <laughs> right. right, it's the right. uh, Chinese Christmas building blocks. These have been so much fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely, completely, and utterly. Otherwise, otherwise, utterly, completely confused by the opening, them, but they, they just keep doing. <laughs> right, so day number six, and yep. this is the only one actually that's in numerical order. Mm. Ooh. Right. So close. Right. Pass that off to Darren. Yeah. 
Ooh, that looks like that could be a crime. Oh, the crime one, that does. <laughs> right, I'll show you when it's done. So one, two, three. Right, guys, so we have got a reindeer. He's a little odd, but we think he's cute. I also think they missed something by not having a red nose because, mm. hello. <laughs> right, so, and we had three spare bits mm. as such. That took and that, 18 minutes. Yep. And it is to make the train that looks so cool. <laughs> Honestly, if any of you like Lego mm. and bits, and or you know, mm. this make an ideal present for children as well. Mm. If you can't afford the Lego bit, the, the biggest problem is is getting it over here in time. You may yeah, you have won't to get look it now. on Amazon or yeah. eBay for people that are selling these items but always check location yeah if it doesn't matter and you just want it for them to do something between i mean to be honest it's it's quite a good bit for in between the new year as well i think these are brilliant i really do like them <laughs> right so mm. what is next what is next is Harry Potter Mystery Minis. Ooh. So, magical minis. So, magical we've got one one ready time. in case. And we've got our wand. Yep. Okay. So. Oh. Now then, we are looking for day number six. Yeah. So, I'm going to start this side. And Darren needs to, yep, there we go, light. Oh. 19, 11, 13, 18, 24, 16, 4, 14, 14 23, 23, 9. Nope. No, six. you want 6, Darren. <laughs> well, it's sort of like 6. It's upside down. It's the wrong 6. That's 5, five 15, 10, 17, 6. Ah! There Last we go. Bit. <laughs> it door. Surprised me because five was on this side as well. Hmm. So I just need to. Yep, it's the Hobbit door. Right. Because in the book, it is actually a door like that to get into the Gryffindor common room because Neville actually needed a bit of a leg up. Oh, this looks All wicked. Right. Right. Oh, Ron. It's Ron Ron's. Well, is any of the biggest you may or may not get with this really isn't it yeah. but look at that oh, no, it's chair. A chair oh that's wicked that is so cool so they, oh oh ron what are you doing mate She'll yeah but his legs don't bend isn't it it's going on a minute now the question is can they actually sit in there yes they can yay Right, so there you go. Ron Ron is chilling out on the common room chair. Yeah. Perfectly happy with his life. Just yeah. chilling there thinking of his mum's homemade fudge. Yeah. A bit like my sister-in-law does. She thinks about yeah. her mum's homemade fudge. <laughs> she does, well, yeah. yeah. She does. <laughs> She's lovely. Right, so right. I'll pop you in there so I don't lose you. Right. Disney. You Disney want to forget the mini brains? Oh. Dear. Right, it's door number six straight away. Yep. It's in the same place as the last one. Right. Yep. The removal of that. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Huh? Right, we've got a gold Woody from Toy Story. Oh, right. I, I do prefer them when they are actually the colours they're meant to be, but I must admit that does look pretty wicked, mm. to be fair. I'll be honest with you guys, I feel quite naked today. I haven't got a hamster under my shirt asleep. <laughs> I mean, you know, she'll come out later feeling all sorry for herself and be even clingier than usual. Excellent. <laughs> a lot of it is she's over tired actually. But yeah. Mm. That is so cool. Oh. Right. 
You ready for your next one? Oh, it's my happy it's box. Dippy's happy box. Right. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, so, joy. Course, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, 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 joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yep. So we're yep. looking for day number down, six. Calendar. Now I've got really... Oh, you six. You jolly well are, you know. Hey. Result. Hey. I know I know. we're going to have to go foraging at some point, people. I'm not going to lie to you. Right, so there you go. Cre cre Creepmas, day six. Yeah. Coven Creepmas, countdown calendar. And it's little ghosties again. Yeah. I do love this. I, I really do. I really, really do. I'm very excited. Oh, I'm even more Ooh. excited. It's a box. We've got a box. box. We have got a box. It's, it's official. It's wanted. a box. I do like a box because you can't necessarily, you don't know what you're going to get in it. No. I know there's a label on the other side, but, you know, who wants to be cheated out of the surprise of opening the box? Official, open the flap. Oh. Oh, I think I can see silver and I think I can see a pentagram. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, it's so cold, it's metal. Look at that. It's an That's incense a, stick burner. burner. Yeah. That is beautiful. It's so cold. Oh, look. Oh, yes, very nice. You know, I mean, actually, you, you could, could have, have it either way, either way yeah. round. That is your, your dealer's choice sort of thing. Hmm. I'd probably go for the pentagram side. But if if you want, if you, actually, that's the point. If you get this yourself, guys, yeah. um, if you're not perhaps, um, it's not like it's frowned upon to have bits like this because not everybody knows it's a prote protection yeah, symbol it and it's around. not offensive if you've got somebody coming to your home that doesn't understand mm. you can always have it that way around yeah feels a little bit going back to like the 80s but remember the satanic panic i had i mean that is beautiful i'm sorry whichever way you look at it that is lovely it and is. it is really nice and that goes lovely on my altar. Mm. As Darren giggles. But yes, that is... No, no, no. Gorgeous. Not giggling, no, no. Because you, you actually cleared off a lot of crap from your altar. I did. Yeah. I'm not, guys. We haven't shown it to yeah. you yet. But I'm waiting. Cause Two boxes do... of stuff she managed to clear off of it. When, <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm essentially... When I place my Tesco's order, they've got some lights that I want for it. Because you guys know I've got my berry lights on my tree. But yeah. It just needs something. And yeah. I'm quite particular about that something. And I found yeah. some I like. So mm. we're, we're doing that. But yeah. yeah. Really happy. Really yeah. happy with that. Hey. Right. Let's get jammy. Okay. Right. It's day number six. There we go. Yep. Yay. Thank God. Oh. Right. 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 Yep. Turn that up that way. Yep. Right. So, ooh, this looks exciting. Ooh, what have we got? Amos a uh, ginger mole. I'm pretty sure one of them is pineapple. Amos? Oh, Amos. Prepar preparation. Is it? Amos. Amos. Uh, uh, Ginger Mole. Gingembra. Yeah, that one too. Pineapple and ginger spread. Oh, that sounds nice. Right, so. I don't know why I'm showing you, because <laughs> he's got the thing on the doodle. <laughs> but yeah, so. And there's your little pineapple and ginger bit. Uh -huh. I'm quite relieved in some ways, because it looked like a garlic clove. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't fancy pineapple flavoured garlic. Pineapple yeah. and garlic. You can't really smell very much. Not anything that I recognise particularly. Maybe. Oh, you can smell a pineapple. Maybe a hint of pineapple. Yeah. You can smell a pineapple. But it's sort mm. of like it's not. It's not that really um, sweety pineapple. No, smell. it smells like fresh pineapple. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Let's raise the toast. <laughs> right, guys. So let's have a look yep. and see how we do with this. And again, Darren's not getting the spoon until I've definitely got enough on there because <laughs> it's quite a nice consistency. Yeah, it's got a jelly sort of bit, isn't it? You can smell, you can, it's strange because you can't smell this right by me, but you can smell it over in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> I'm saying yes, I've got no clue, I haven't moved. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to need more on that. Yeah, so pineapple and ginger. Mm, I'm quite curious actually with this, I must admit. Yeah. How strong the ginger's gonna be? Yes. Oh. I mean my mum buys actual ginger spread spread, so yeah. It's really nice. Well, taste the pineapple. Pineapple's nice. Can't taste the spread though. Um, ginger, yeah. Unless mm. the ginger's only really an enhancement bit to that one. Or possibly cuts down the sweetness. Okay. Mmm. No, I've got to say, that's a big thumbs up from me. Mm. It's one that I might actually get for a bit mm. of a change, if that makes sense. Mm. You definitely can't taste the ginger. Mm. Okay, you got the spoon? I'll try. You want me to put a wee bit on it? Yeah, there's not much on there. <coughs> I said a wee bit. A wee bit, not a bit of wee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's some on the bottom as well as the top. There's a slight bit of ginger there. Like an undertone, sort of. Mm. A, little, a little bitey on the tongue. It is when you drink, when you take it directly. You've got to bear in mind. Not, not, not nasty sort of bite, mm. but it's, a, it's got a little, a little tingle lift on your tongue. That's one I might actually see whether I can get to give mm. to my mum as well, actually, because she would love that. Mm. So. You know, and it's a bit of a different Christmas present, isn't it? <laughs> it's a good stocking filler, those are, actually. Mm. But, yeah, depending on whether we can get it is another matter. Right, yeah. But, yeah. No, I liked that. I thought that was... <laughs> that's good. That's different. <laughs> another one I'm partial to is lemon and lime marmalade, but I always forget I've got it, and it ends up sitting in the fridge for decades mm. because I forget I've got it. It's still sitting in the fridge, on the back of the fridge, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> so it's been another good day it has it yeah it really has I've really enjoyed myself <laughs> right so thank you so much if you've washed us washed us if you washed if us if you've washed us this far yeah <laughs> um don't forget your snowflakes questions as long as they're in by the 7th yeah. Of January, it is no problem. Yeah. Now then, as I've said, please subscribe and ding dang dong, ding, ding dong, dong dong your bell. Yeah. Um, I'm just sitting here. I'm thinking to myself, I haven't got a hamster for to boot you with. No. I mean, not one. No. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> so, guys. As always, be different. A very merry hoo-hoo. And? and Grinch. Gonk. Snork. Boop. <laughs>